This is another Blender tutorial. We're going to look at uh, adding some lighting effects to our scene. If you haven't already done so, you might need to make a modification to your lighthouse. We need to remove panels from the glass area so that we can have the light shine through. So select the glass area. Hit tab to go into edit mode. And we'll need to select faces. We'll turn shading on so that we can select panels from just one side. Hit A to deselect everything. And we'll select three panels. We'll use the shift button to select multiple panels. X to delete. And we're going to delete faces. And you can see that it's hollow there. We'll keep selecting three at a time. One, two, three, delete, rotate. One, two, three, delete. Okay, that's done. Now you need to save it. And I'm gonna save it as Lighthouse 5. Now let's load up our last world scene. You might have to delete your lighthouse and reappend it. So let's go to overhead view. And we're gonna add a spotlight. And let's just fix this location a bit, negative 5.5 and 9. And to check, we can move the lighthouse to the same spot, negative 5.5 and 9. I'm just rounding the numbers so that we get the spotlight and the lighthouse lined up properly. Let's go to the side view. This is three on the numpad, and we want to raise the height. We want to put it right in the middle of the lighthouse. So let's give that a nice round figure, 22.3. Okay, the spotlight is pointing down, so we don't want that. We'll rotate it. And that looks like it should be 90 degrees. So we'll put 90 there. Switch back to overhead. And we'll rotate this. We want it to point in that direction. Okay, so if we want to round that off. Again, minus 60. Let's adjust the spotlight controls. Click on the spotlight. And as the tutorial mentions, we want it to be 1.2 for energy. The distance is gonna to have to be larger, so we'll put it at 100. And we want the size of the spotlight to be 10 degrees. So it's a nice narrow focused beam. And let's just render that to see what it looks like. Okay, there's nothing there. That's because we need to add, that's because we need to add halo to the spotlight shape. I'll render again. And that's the effect that we want. What we'd like to do is lower the camera so that we can look into the glass part. So we'll go to side view, that's numpad three. Zoom out so we can see the camera. Select the camera and we'll just move it down. 
and render again. Now we got a good view into the lighthouse. Next, what we'll want to do is create the bulb. So we go Shift A and we'll add a mesh. And let's add the icosphere. And we had the spotlight at 22.3, so let's make this 22.3. And again, we had the easy numbers, negative 5.5 and 9. Makes it easy to line it up rather than dragging the controls. Now the size is a little large, let's zoom in. It's a little large, so we'll make it smaller. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Now we'll add a material for this icosphere. And we'll want to do halo. And as the textbook suggests, we'll set 1.5 for the size. We'll add rings and stars. And render. And that looks pretty good. Let's bump up the hardness. And render again. That's good enough. Save this. And we're going to save this as Lighthouse Landscape World 2. And that completes this lesson.